Assalamu alaikum, respected principal, teachers, my colleagues, and my dear juniors. A very good afternoon to everyone who are present here. I, Dr. Bushra Suraya, PG, PG scholar from Department of Elmo Ladviya, GTCH Patna. I'm here to present my synopsis today. The title of the topic is Physical Chemical Evaluation of Iskar with its nephroproductive study on cisplatin induced kidney injury in rodent model. So before I start with my synopsis, I'd like to uh, tell okay, uh, what is preclinical trial. So basically, Advia department mein jo bhi hota hai, we are doing preclinical trial. So clinical trial, everyone is aware what is clinical trial. Clinical trial is specifically uh, done on human beings and it is done on the uh, drugs which is already being tested on animals. And those uh, experiments are nothing but it is preclinical test or preclinical study, which is done in Advia department, what we are doing now. So preclinical trial, it is nothing but they are laboratory tests of new drug substances or medical devices, usually done on animal subjects to see whether there is any uh, type of treatment which is available in that drug or which is, uh, safe to use on humans or not. The main goal of preclinical study are to determine the product's ultimate safety on humans. The main objective is to collect the data to submit to FDA, that is Food and Drug Administration, for IND filing. IND filing is investigational new drug. So whenever we are doing any research on any drug, so before that we have to do IND filing, that is investigational uh, new drug, we have to file that to FDA, Food and Drug Administration, so that they will pass that to a higher uh, committee so that we can start with our research. What is the importance of preclinical trial for determination of dose? So especially if there is an unknown drug, hota hai, we don't know what is the dose of the drug and what is the use of the drug, what are the pharmacological activities of that drug. So we don't know what are the functions which we can avail from that drug. So scale we do preclinical trial first. So preclinical trial may we see determination of dose or any toxic dose or toxic effect of the drug or the pharmacological action. Then we need to check the safety of the drug on animals before testing on humans. So we do preclinical trial first before going on to clinical trial that is on humans. Requirement of a regulatory body and also to check the pharmacokinetic profile of any drug on the basis of selection, on that basis, we do the route of administration. Matlab, jo bhi hum log drug pehle hum, uh, test karte hai, uska first we see pharmacological activity and we see pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of the drug. So, we know that what is the pharmacological activity kya hai. based on that, we decide the route of drug administration of that particular drug. Moving on to my uh, synopsis. Uh, so, what is the need of my study? According to WHO, cancer is the leading cause of death worldwide, account, accounting for nearly 10 million deaths in 2020. So, uh, my drug, hai, uh, that is Iskar, I want to nephroproductive effect dekhna hu, whether it is effective in kidney injury or not. So, I will do kidney injury, karungi, uh, that will be uh, by cisplatin. So, cisplatin, everyone knows it is a very common drug, uh, which is used for anti-cancerous activity. So, you all know that the most commonly used drug is cisplatin for anti-cancerous drug. Why is this used? Because it is uh, safe, cost-effective and it is easily available. Uh, compared to other drugs, it's a that any anti-cancerous drug uh, use hota hai, they will have many toxicities in them which will cause uh, toxicity in the human body. But, uh, okay. So uh, they will be having many toxicities. So un toxicities se kaise bach sakte hain hum? Uh, wo humko find out karna hai. Aur wahan abhi modern mein uska koi aisa uh, ye nahi hai ki matlab agar cisplatin se koi toxicity ho rahi hai usse hum kaise bach sakte hain? So mera research mein ye hai ki agar main cisplatin se injury kar rahi hu to uske cisplatin se jo injury kar rahi hu to main apni drug deke usko main theek kar pa rahi hu ya nahi kar pa rahi hu. Okay, so cisplatin is an anti-chemotherapeutic agent that is anti-neoplastic drug 
used in the treatment of many solid organ uh, cancers that is uh, cancer of head neck lungs testes ovaries and even breast so in these toxicities mainly ototoxicity include hota hai gastrotoxicity myelosuppression and many of the allergic reactions uh, hota hai to isme uh, ek aur toxicity hai which is nephrotoxicity jo ki mera study hai cisplatin nephrotoxicity can present in number of ways the most serious and one of the most common presentation of uh, uh, this uh, nephrotoxicity is acute kidney injury which occurs in about 20 to 30 percentage of patients and also hypomagnesemia which occurs in about 40 to 100 percent of the patients of anti cancerous treatment that is cis cisplatin which is given to any uh, cancer patient at present there is no effective drug or method for cisplatin induced kidney injury so unani system of medicine is one of the oldest system of medicine which has its origin from persian and arabic region which follows the basic teachings of jalinus and bukhrat the unani system of medicine has effective treatment for various chronic illnesses and morbidities among those kidney injury is kidney disease or kidney injury is one of the commonest illness in present situation natural nephrocorrective drugs and its scientific validation is the need of our there are various drugs that are extensively used as nephrocorrective activity many drugs are there which are available in classical unani text uh, which claims that it uh, it has nephrocorrective activity like amlakas parsiyausha vadia biscopra kasdi kharakas tukmekhar tapista aslesus vilo adrak sandal safed zarchok sitavar hina tulsi majit baobadang mochras tukme kitmi tukme kaddu and iskar and many more drugs are present which are uh, which i have not mentioned here so is uh, out of all these drugs i have chosen iskar for my drug though these drugs are very effective and beneficial in treating renal morbidities they require scientific validation to prove their efficacy in this study one of these drug that is iskar as i've already mentioned will be assessed for its physical chemical properties and then it will be evaluated for pro uh, protective effect against kidney injury which will be induced that is which will be induced by cisplatin uh, a chemical uh, a anti cancerous agent in animal model the study will pave way for new mode of nephroprotective action in modern world through herbal medicine which min with minimal or no toxicity to human body so before i start with my review literature i would like to tell ke jo anti cancerous drug uh, which i am using in the study as negative control groups is cisplatin wo kaise kidney injury cause karta hai so whenever a cancer patient is given cisplatin what happens the cisplatin is accumulated in the uh, first it is taken up by the cellular uh, cellular uh, uh, cells of kidney okay then it is taken up then uh, uh, later it accumulates in the renal cells after accumulation it causes inflammation and those inflammation again in, uh, in turn leads to uh, oxidative stress which in turn leads to apoptosis and necrosis uh, and then uh, la uh, at last it leads to renal tissue damage so this is the process how cisplatin is causing kidney injury in any uh, living living uh, body so in review literature i have mentioned ke uh, in unani system of medicine kidney disease are described to occur due to three main reasons first we all know that is suwe mizaj kulia then suwe tarkeeb and tafarruq e ittisal in classical unani literature of unani system of medicine iskar is mentioned to have nephroprotective action so in many of the books like zakira khwarizm shahi al qanun they have mentioned that iskar is having a nephroprotective effect so that's why i'm choosing this drug for my uh, study iskar is usually a tall perennial grass so we all know iskar is nothing but it is lemon grass so lemon grass everyone is aware of that and it is very common uh, herb or uh, yeah and it is available <clears throat> mostly everywhere in india and out of india is also it is cultivated and in india it is cultivated as well as <coughs> exported out of the country so this is very common drug which is uh, which everyone is aware of this is iskar lemon grass 
The plant can be collected anytime during the year except in winters. The two planting season that is spring and monsoon, depending upon the time of uh, plantation and on the climatic factors, two to three cutting of the crops can be done and obtained in a year. So we'll see what are the actions and uses of Iskar. Uh, so we have already learned in Mufaradat that uh, Iskar uh, in Yunani literature is known to have mohallil action that is anti-inflammatory. I told you that when cystatin is induced in the body, it causes inflammation. And that's why uh, we are using this drug as uh, 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 as a uh, for uh, cisplatin, like uh, mohallil. Mohallil is anti-inflammatory. Against inflammatory action, I'm using this. Then it is munzish, talayun, mufatte, musakkine alam, tashannuja imtilai, and kabiz. Other than that, if you see deep into the uses, uh, they have known to uh, function as nafsuddam, hemorrhage, Aurame Basur, Vajal Mufasil, Nabzuddam, Mukaviya Maida, Matli, Kaser, sorry, Kasriya, Varme Maida, Varme Jigar, Varme Rahem, Mudre Hez, Mudre Baul, Mufatate Hisat, Darde Gurda, Istiska, and Aurame Makad. So, Isme, what I am using, what are the most important functions on basis of which I am using this drug as a nephroprotective agent against cisplatin? So cisplatin my problem kya hoti hai when they are induced in cancer patient uh iska jo hai, jo toxicity hota hai, the main effect is because it's may inflammation cause karta hai, renal uh, renal tubules mein, ya renal cells mein. and apart from that uh ye jo hai, ye flush, uske platinum hota hai. this platinum get accumulated in the renal uh, cells so ye jo accumulation causes more uh, toxicity to the body so because of this Jo platinum hai, ye flush out hona bahut zaruri hai. So, sis platin ke uh, treatment mein, kya karte hai? Modern mein, they give flush therapy. Flush therapy kya hai? The forced, di uh, forced uh, matlab IV fluids dete hai aur diuretics dete hai. Is mein kya hota hai? Forced diuretics dene ke wajay se, the sis platin which is accumulated in the cells of kidney, they get flush out from the kidney. So, is ki wajay se kya hota hai? Zara platinum jab bahar aega, tab hi aake uh, kidney ko hum protect kar sakte hai. So, I have this drug liya tha, to have two reasons. Ke wase liya hai. One is uh, Mohalil, as I've already mentioned, anti-inflammatory, and other is Mudrebol. So, Mudrebol is a diuretic. When it is a diuretic, it will be platinum bhi saath mein flush out. Ho so, according to this, uh, two main uses, I have used this drug for my study. Temperament, as we all know, it is Garma Kush, Darjay Duvam. Uh, human dose of Iskar is 5 to 7 grams, which is mentioned. Uh, the objective of my study is nothing but to standardize this. First, I'll standardize the drug ISKHAR, and after that, I'll evaluate the nephroprotective effect of ISKHAR against the experimentally induced nephrotoxicity that is by cisplatin. And also, we'll validate the sayings of uh, our Yunani physicians, Jo B. Vokrate, Jalinos, ne, or other books were mentioned here that it claims that it is, a it is having nephroprotective activity. So, uh, all those things we'll validate in this study. Materials and method, the experiment will be carried out in PG department of Hilmul Adviya, uh, that is JDCH Patna. Uh, method of collecting of drug. How we'll collect this drug? Either we'll procure this drug from herbal garden of your uh, government TB college and hospital Patna, or uh, if it is not available for procuration, then we'll purchase this from the local, hub, uh, local herbal drug store, uh, any herbal drug store or any other uh, store from uh, out of Patna. And we'll then uh, send this drug for identification by pharmacognosist. When they'll identify the species of the lemongrass, with that species, I'll do continue with my study. Then uh, what are the physical chemical analysis? The physical chemical analysis of the drug is good, will be done under the guidelines of Unani Pharmacopoeia of India. Now, how is the thing uh, will prepare the extract of my drug? So already uh, in previous, uh, like previous presentations, they've already mentioned how they prepare the extract of any drug. So in the same way, in the socolates apparatus or any other method I'll use for the extraction of the drug, first the roots of the iskar will be collected and then it will be dried in shade and it will uh, ground it to the coarse powder. The hydroalcoholic extract will be obtained from the powdered drug which I have which I will be preserving and then dried and it will be kept in an airtight container and then it will be used for this further study. Animal study. So what are the animals will I will take in uh, in my study? So uh, it is very common uh, species of rat that is Weister albino rats uh, which I'll be taking uh, around the weight of 150 to 200 grams each of either sex uh, and this uh, study will be randomly selected 
all the animals will be purchased from labor uh, laboratory of animal facility patna or uh, from the veterinary college if they are providing then uh, three to four months old uh vice right should be selected for the study as too young or too old uh, uh, vice right can affect the readings of the study and before the study when i'll purchase the uh, rats uh, and after that i'll keep in the laboratory for acclimatization for one week so that they get uh, uh, adjusted to the surrounding uh, to the new surrounding and so that there will be no uh, um, error in the reading of my study and they will be kept in a clean propylene uh, cages uh, each animal will be kept in separate cages the animals will be kept at room temperature obviously for 25 degrees celsius and will be kept in the humidity of 45 to 40, uh, 55 degree percentage and they will be kept in the cycle of 12 hours light and 12 hours day cycle that cycle and the standard diet and water at libidum will be given so there will be a, a free feeding of water experimental protocols and procedures of animal care are in accordance with cpc sea guidelines this is a free feeding the animals are kept in the cages and they are allowed to freely feed whatever uh, food they are given with this is a polypropylene cage in which the animals will be kept for the study so what are the what is the animal dose i have already mentioned the an human dose is 5 to 7 grams but in animal dose we see that it is converted by a conversion factor of 7 which is done for rat the dose uh, the dose of the test drug will be calculated extrapolating the human dose by conversion factor of 7 for rats uh, methodology coming to methodology the methodology is nothing but it is most important part of the experiment it's called as heart of any research design mm -hmm. A research study we see uh, in my methodology first it is induction of nephrotoxicity so how will i induce nephrotoxicity in any rat which i'm taking so nephrotoxicity will be induced by injecting a single dose of uh, <clears throat> injection cis platin 5 mg per kg body weight intraperitoneally in healthy rats and how i'm calculating the rat dose human dose is 6 gram for example the average adult dose, uh, adult weight is 60 kg the formulation for conversion factor of 7 uh, for uh, rats is human dose into 7 divided by adult uh, average weight. So uh, rat dose will be 6 gram into 7 divided by 60 kg. That is 60 kg average adult weight. So by doing that, I get 0 0.7 gram per kg. This is how we'll be administrating uh, intraperitoneally uh, cisplatin in rat for, uh, for producing nephrotoxicity. Uh, you can see how they are holding the nape of the neck of a rat and then they are uh, injecting by a very, uh, like in, intraparentally, they are injecting the drug. And the study design, the very important part of this uh, study, ki how do we design a study, uh, how do we design a study or experiment? So in my experiment, I have divided the uh, animals into six groups and each group will be consisting of six uh, rats. Uh, the first group will be pain control group in which there will be no administration of any drug and no administration of any cisplatin that I will neither induce any negative control or neither I will give any standard uh, any test drug. So a uh, pain control group uh, will be administered with normal diet and distilled water. The second group will be negative control group, which I, I've already told that it will be cisplatin. Cisplatin will be administered intraperitoneally 5 mg per kg body weight and will check the readings that how much toxicity they have caused to the renal functions. That we'll see by a renal function test, that is we'll see urea, creatinine, and uh, 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 bun. And then group three, uh, group three will see single dose of cisplatin. First, uh, in group three, what we'll do? First, we'll induce uh, cisplatin, that is we'll cause injury to the uh, uh, animals. And then after the injury, we'll uh, give first test the crude powder of iskar, 0.7 gram per kg body weight, in low dose for 14 days. So my uh, total uh, duration of the study is for 14 days. Then the fourth group, will uh, the same thing will be given, but it will be given in the high dose. So we'll double the dose. Uh, so previously in the third group, we are using 0 0.7 uh, gram per kg body weight. For uh, group four, we'll double the uh, uh, dose that 1.4 gram per kg body weight will be given. So we'll check in which dose uh, um, the more effect is coming, okay? Then a uh, group five will see uh, the same cisplatin will be injected for uh, nephrotoxicity and after that uh, we'll induce our important test drug that is hydroalcoholic extract of escar will be given uh, 0 0.7 gram uh, and that extract will be based on 0 0.7 gram per kg body weight and how how much our extract is obtained from 0 0.7 gram per kg body weight of escar and that much amount of uh, extract will be given to the uh, uh, rats okay 
Then groups in class dose, the same thing will be given, but again, it will be given the high dose. That is 1.4 gram per kg body weight for 14 days. Then this is feeding needle for uh, rats and mice. Uh, this uh, this needle is first uh, injected uh, till the esophagus, and then uh, uh, the uh, the dose is uh, pushed uh, through the needle. Method of feeding rats is first we have to uh, hold the nape, uh, nape of the neck, and uh, we have to uh, clear the pathway, and we have to just uh, straighten the esophagus, and we have to inject whatever uh, material we want to feed the rats. At the end of this experimental study, that is on 15th day. Uh, the rat's blood will be withdrawn under light ether anesthesia for estimation of biomarkers of renal damage. Uh, that is blood urea, serum creatinine, blood urea, nitrogen. Serum, uh, then I'll always also be uh, assessing for electrolytes, that is serum sodium and uh, serum potassium level. Then the rats will be uh, dissected to isolate uh, the kidneys for histopathological evaluation. But I think this uh, histopathological evaluation is um, excluded from the study uh, as uh, many of the things is not provided. And uh, these are my references. Thank you. Any questions?